Hello everyone, welcome back to GSP Sea Fishing. We're here in Fort Ventura again, another day. And it's quite unusual for me this. I found a new mark, a new mark that we've all looked at and gone, whoa, that looks good. Um, I'm right, right, right down in the south, as far as the road can go. Behind me there, you can see the lighthouse, Punta Handia. Um, and we found this little jetty rock jetty that you can see it behind me there the shoreline is only there but then as soon as the jetty ends that has got to be at least five meters deep there there's a bit of weed floating around you can see there where the rocks just drop off and there's some big fish going down there so i think fishing this rock line would be really good getting a float in there, seeing if we can get something big. It's exciting. I like new marks. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Right, we're currently trying to work out how we're gonna mix some bread chum and how we're gonna take the bait down. So what we're doing, we're emptying these into a, into a cardboard bag. And then we're gonna we need to tip take them. some of these down. No, that's enough. That's enough, mate. That's it. That's enough. Yeah. I'll put bait in one of these bags. We can come back for snacks. We'll put some prawns in here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So whilst me and Pete set up some float rods, Mark's gonna give it luring a go. It's deep enough. It is definitely deep enough here. And if he works that jig along the bottom, chance of big bream or anything. Let's get these leaders off and set up the lure rod. The float rod. I need a lot. I think over there, mate, on the um. All the way down there. Yeah, I think that's your best bet on one of them rock pools. Right, just set up mine and Pete's float rods. Well, they're spinning rods, but they got a float on them. Basically, we've got a sliding float on this. We've got. Let's have a look. Bring it down. We got a size, don't know what that is, four or two hook. It's from the China shop. We didn't have anything this size. I've got about three and a half foot, three foot of nine kilo synthetic uh, mimetic fluorocarbon. I think. Then got this five grand Capilam float sliding through. So I've taken the, uh, the stick, the holding stick out of it. We've got a three gram lead weight underneath bead on the top just to basically reduce the hole because that hole is too big for a stop knot the stop knot would just go through that and your line would just carry on flowing down into the sea this bead has got a lot smaller hole in that and then up there on my line let's bring it down bring it down here got a stop knot there stop knot in power gum we're gonna start chumming up. Peter's mixed a bag of chum there with bread and a bit of ground bait. Start chumming up and using prawn to see if we can get some fish. Alone in the hardcore. All right. You lost it, didn't you? Just make sure that knots out all the time and then give it a launch. Go 
Yeah, you'll be able to get further than that, mate. That's it, probably a little bit about that. Yeah. Let's see what that's coming back like. Bloody deep out there, I know. Probably a bit faster, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Tom's going in, Pete. Yeah, I was going I think that's just about right. Yeah, it's nice, mate. It's lovely. Nice sloppy chum mix there. Eh? One more. That'll get us going, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Let's fish them, mate. Right, let's get some... Oh, uh, that's, that's fine. It'll still go out. It'll yeah, still go no, out. No, yeah. Yeah, but it's swirling around here. Love, uh, yeah. yeah, come on him. No point in miring it. You alright? Yeah. Pull down there. Right, this is set up at about... Oof. Let's go a little bit deeper on that, I think. You're in! He's in! Oh, well done. Mark is in. Mark is in. On the lure. Don't go too hard on it. You're going to have to look like a decent fish. What you got? Well done, Mark. Right, be careful, though. Get her up. Get her up to the top before you start playing around down there. A little blue fish. Oh, well done, mate. Well done, Mark. Don't pull him up. Don't pull him up. Come around here, Mark. Walk him round gently and get him up over there. Just watch the rods. Don't yank him. Just be careful on this. Yeah. Right. Keep him up, boy. There we are, little blue fish. Right. Be careful, mate. Don't drag him like that. You'll drag the hook out. You've lost him. You've lost him. Oh, Mark. Ah. Yeah, you can't be yanking it like that. Yeah, just dragging them like that. It's going to pull the lure out of the mouth, mate. You've just got to go easier. That was a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, he's lost the blue fish. Oh, Mark! There's fish out here, mate. Loads of them on the chum. something on that. Yeah. Go on, take it. No, missed that. Stuff down there, mate. Right, mate. Going out there nicely, isn't it? Yeah. Working out there nicely. Yeah,
Right, I've got a fish here. What have we got? Is it a palometta? Fighting well. It's fighting well, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's a palometta. Beautiful. Oh, they're in now. That'd be good, get some chum in, nice. In this sort of sea conditions, these fight really well for their size. Beautiful. Oh, they're lovely fish, aren't they? It's a good size one, mate. Very nice. Oh, nice fish. Beautiful fish. What a lovely fish. He is. Oh, just come out there. Go. Don't want to drop him. Yeah, it was in the lip, it come out. There we go, look at that. Lovely uh, palometta. Look at that. They do fight well for their size. Stunning fish. Right, we're gonna get him back. Hey, don't do that. Get him back. Hopefully there's some more, maybe bigger ones. Come on. Yep, there we go. Yeah, another one. He's keeping down deep. A bit smaller, I think. Oh, it's a uh, saddle bream. We've got a saddle bream with it now. White bream. There you go, white bream. Beautiful. Right there. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Beautiful fish. Look, the blue dorsal fin, uh, sorry, blue uh, fins at the bottom there. Little white bream. Stunning colours. Let's get him. Unhooked. All right, there he is. There he goes. Gone. gone, he's gone. Quicker than you can say, boo. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Pete's in. What you got, Pete? Oh. Hey. Oh. Pete's in. Is it a bream? Oh, it looks long. Oh, yeah, you've got a cow bream, another cow bream. Like you did yesterday, mate. Be careful, though. Well done. Come and have a look at that in a minute. I've got a bite. Go on, go on. Oh, I missed it. Missed it. There are fish out there. Not in mass, on mass, but there are fish. Yeah. Lovely colours, isn't it? Lovely, Pete. Nice fish, mate. There it goes, swimming on the surface. Gone. He will be gone. Disorientated. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Pete. Oh, there we go. Ah. Got fish. Be snagged. Oh, fish. fish. Oh, I 
Mark's got a fish. Right, go easier. I'll bring mine in too. Easier on it, mate. I'll go down on the step and try and land it. Got a fish? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Mark has finally got a fish. Right, go easy, mate, yeah? Yeah. Decent fish, though, innit? Get it up. Get it up, yeah. Another blue. Another blue. Right, get him up off the bottom. Well, your rod's too high as well, Mark. Your rod's too high. That's it. That's it, right. Just watch the rods. It's a blue, yeah, it's a blue. It's a blue. Be careful, mate. You just wait for the swell and come up on the swell. You want to get down deep. Right. You want to get down deep. Don't get him near that edge. Lean over. Your rod's too high, mate. That's it. Keep it like that. Don't pull him against the swell. Go with it. And then run when you can. Then when it goes backwards, go a bit easier. Right, it's so ahead of you. It's ahead of you. Which way do you right, stop, 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 stop. Because that's back now. Go with that. You can. Gentle. Gentle, mate. Yeah, you just gotta go. When that backwash comes, you've got to yeah. go easy on him and let him go a bit. And then when the next wave comes, you've got to get him up on that wave. Oh, Mark! Yeah. Third time lucky, yeah? So Mark's just had another one as well, take his look. Um, I've just gone back to get some dry bread. I'm gonna see if there's palomita feeding. If not, I might set up and get a lure on as well. Cause there's bluefish around, so we'll see. Gonna try this first, bit of dry bread on the surface, let it go out, see if the palomita are coming up and snapping it off the top. If they are, I need that a go. If not, maybe get a lure on. All right, let's get some bread going out. Yeah, I hate, I don't like side casting. I love it. Yeah, it's not, it won't get you full distance, so over the head will. Right, come on, Palometa. Pete has just brought in a lovely uh, white bream. It's nice, mate. Come on, shovel hands. Pretty, isn't they? They are pretty. Very nice. pretty fish, mate. Well done, Pete. Well done. Right, well, it seems that there are bluefish about, so I've gone hardcore, you know. I'm gonna get this on. Bang in the middle here. See if we can hook one and land it. See you later. Woo. Sorry, mate. Full of weed. Pete's got a nice fish here on the float. Well, nice, it's just giving a good account of itself, isn't it, mate? It's another bream, is it? Oh, is it a two-banded? No, it's a white bream. A bit bigger this one. You should wind that in, Pete, a little bit. And you should be able to, to the side, just bungee it up onto the rocks. Do you want me to do it? You all right? On a swell, Pete, now, when the swell comes, come up and then up, use the rod to catapult it out, Pete. Now, that's it. Lovely fish, mate. Yeah, put it down. Put it down, mate, because you'll snap your tip like that. 
Lovely white bream pea. Size of that, there's my hand. It's a lovely white bream. Well, you've got to uh, hunt up there, mate. <laughs> Good luck. Well, it's not a lot of action on the lures now. So we're going to set up a float again in a minute. I'm going to do one more cast. Got about an hour or so left of this session. Must be a weed. Got one? No. A bit stronger than that, mate. Nice fish, though. Nice fish, a little white bream. There we go. Look at that. Let's get my hooked. Nice in the bottom. There we go. You can go back. Well, we're all back to float. We're going to give it uh, maybe an hour. A bit of float fishing here, and then call it a day. So let's see what we get on float. Anyway. If any of you are seeing these t-shirts, they are available, available through my channel. Check out the description, there's a video link there as well, it shows you all the designs. If you want to get your hands on one, have a read of the description below and, uh, and it'll tell you how to do it. Let's get back to the fishing. Oh, there we go. Bye. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there he goes. Come on. Go on, take it. Yeah, we're in this one. It's a little one. It's a tiddler. Oh. Well, it's quite a big uh, ornate wrasse. There we go. Get him in the sun. How beautiful is that? Stunning. Barely hooked. Right, here he goes. Get her in here. Oh no, look. One moment is fishable, next moment is gone. Well, we were going to give it another 
10 15 minutes but um look at this a couple of big swells have basically brought so much weed into the fishing zone we can't present our bait so i think we're going to call it a day here now um don't know aren't we done all right here don't you think mark yeah, nice, spot, nice spot you've been unlucky you've been unlucky mate a couple of, couple of blue fish um lost them oh there we are but um we're gonna go we're gonna call it a day here aren't we a bit yeah, weedy bit weedy yeah you done all right pete nice green yeah i've enjoyed it yeah it's good mate it's good it was good right on the boat. and a new venue yeah new venue it's yeah. all good fun anyway that's it for this session so until next time tight lines